Hey guys, welcome to Joe's RC Corner and uh, we're going to be back on the cruiser today. We're going to be starting the work on the fuel system. So uh, stay tuned. Okay guys, so as you know, we were... Uh, Last week we did a lot of work here in the uh, switch panel and the uh, instrument panel here. We got all the instruments, uh, all the switches installed uh, the way I like them. Um, we do have a lot of work still behind the uh, instrument panel. Um, a lot of wiring and uh, to connect all the circuit breakers and the switches, but I'm happy with everything in regards to location. So I'm gonna take a break from electrical right now and kind of switch up gears just a little bit. And uh, today, we're gonna see if we can get this uh, header tank installed in the rear of the airplane. Now, uh, one thing that I wanna let everybody know, and uh, um, Adam at AeroWorks also pointed out, and I wish I knew this before I painted, uh, but it is what it is. We're gonna work our way around it, but uh, we gotta put the uh, a square aluminum tube in place of one of the L angles that go down on the side of the fuselage, and it's gonna be on the passenger side because for the most part, I will be flying solo, or I may have my kids in, in the in the other side. But uh, for the most part, I want to keep that uh, that weight distributed to the other side of the airplane. So uh, we're we have to drill out these rivets here, um, and that is so that we can install that aluminum tube inside, uh, replacing that L angle uh, that's in there. So that's going to be a little bit of work, and uh, then I got to figure out how I'm going to either touch up those uh, rivets or just leave them as is. Um, I'll have to figure it out because as we all know, I use the flat paint and no matter how I spray that section, it's going to be seen. Uh, so I'm going to have to try, to try to figure it out. Uh, question for you guys out there in the world, uh, building, um, have any, has, has anyone tried to paint the rivets before you put them in back in place? Um, if you have, uh, let me know how that came out. Did you have to put a piece of masking tape on the rivet head? Uh, or on the uh, riveter, anything like that, uh, and love to know how that worked out for you. Uh, but because I'm using a single stage flat paint, it's kind of difficult. You'll always see that that uh, that correction in the paint. Uh, I'm not too concerned about it, but I don't want it to be too crazy, you know, if you know what I mean. So, um, anyways, we're gonna go ahead and get back to work. We're gonna get started here and uh, start drilling out those rivets. All right, guys, so uh, we're inside the hell hole back here in the back of the airplane. And uh, as you can see, I replaced that L angle so I can put my header tank in here. So um, I did need a lot of trimming up there towards the top because of the rivets that are coming through on this side. And then of course, uh, the rivets going this way and this way up there. So that's all in there nice and snug now. Um, not sure how well you'll be able to see, but uh, it all fits nicely. It's all Clecoed in place, so that's now nice and stiff. Uh, we have the clamps in here as well. Um, I have not riveted this in place. It's just Clecoed right now because I need to figure out how I'm going to try to patch the rivets uh, color-wise uh, on the other side. So if anybody has any suggestions in regards to whether I should, uh, how to do that, I thought about a couple different things. Um, I can either take out my little airbrush that I have and after I rivet them in place, just try to get, you know, just paint just the rivet heads so that they match or brush it on. Uh, the other option is to paint the rivet heads ahead of time and then try to rivet them on um, and maybe use something like a uh, uh, masking tape or something of that sort to keep that from uh, scratching up the paint on the rivet heads. But uh, nonetheless, we have this in place. We're going to go ahead and get the uh, header tank uh, in place here and uh, try to get this bolted down. So that way the header tank is in, ready to go, and then we can start working on plumbing the tank. All right, guys, so stay tuned. Okay, guys, so now we have the header tank fully installed here. I got the, uh, all my nipples are going towards the uh, cabin. Uh, I made up a bracket here that will screw in uh, to the bottom of the tank. It's an AN3 
Uh, I believe it's a AN 3-3. I did put a couple washers in there just uh, as uh, Jan mentioned to keep it from going all the way too many, th you know, it only goes so far in there. So uh, we don't want to make the tank leak. So we have that in there. Uh, I just used the L angle actually that I pulled from here uh, and uh, cut it to length and then attached it to the upward strut here. Uh, and uh, she's not going anywhere, guys. Nice and strong. Uh, these uh, will actually keep the tank from going up and down. This keeps the tank from rolling forward and back. So not a problem there. And uh, I think that came out pretty good. Um, I just riveted it here, AN3 bolt here. And I did uh, clean this up so that uh, I might actually turn this nipple here to come this way because I think I'm gonna have my drain uh, come out across maybe use this as a uh, tie for uh, for uh, um, uh, an Adele clamp and then bring that cable, the line down and through the fuselage somewhere uh, I haven't decided exactly where but we'll work that out as we go on so we have our sensor here for the header tank amount and uh, then we have our positive negatives uh, he, uh, Jan has them marked on the connectors himself. As you can see, there's a positive. I went back and then pulled the cable and also labeled, see if it'll focus, uh, positive on here as well. So that way I know which one's positive, which one's negative. Uh, and they're going out towards the cabin here as you can see all right so uh the header tank is now in so that's good that's a that's a definitely a, a big start here uh for the uh, weekend i'm not sure how much more i'm going to get i'm going to see uh how far i can go and uh see what else we can get uh mounted on here so we're going to start looking at the um the getting everything kind of wired up here and uh make sure nothing interferes with anything else all right let's keep going okay guys so we're back and uh, i want to show you what we got accomplished we got quite a bit done here let me go ahead and zoom out a little bit okay so now we're on a wide angle here and as you can see what we've got done here is we got the uh, header tank mounted and um the uh supports are just temporarily uh they're just uh clecoed in place right now for that main support that's replacing the l angle in there uh, but then I also have an L angle back over here that I have curved using the fluting tool and then riveted to the main support for the baggage back wall. And then of course, uh, used my AN3, uh, bolt to attach. Now, as you can see, extremely rigid, that's not going anywhere. We're good to go. I do need to compress these a little bit more, uh, to make sure we have good uh secure tank here all right now we have our fuel lines coming out of our fuel pumps here so we have uh fuel pump one fuel pump two I'm not sure which one's which yet but uh that comes out and i do have a little bit of strain relief here in both of these cables are these uh the fuel lines they're uh clamped in place we did grease the fittings of the quick connects going into the fuel filters or i mean into the fuel pumps coming down Okay, and now we have the fuel lines coming down and going into the uh, splitter block here. Uh, these are the one-way check valves, and then you have the out going to the engine, uh, which also goes through a filter right there. And that's the uh, high-pressure filter. The low-pressure filters will be going up there. I just haven't gotten to that stage yet. And then, of course, the pressure bleed-off, uh, which is going to go up to a vent up there as well uh the drain right here i'm also going to rotate this probably about nine, 45 degrees so it comes out the side here or i'm sorry 90 degrees come out the side here uh and then so i can come out and then down and then through a drain on the side i'm going to get one of those quick uh drains so i can sump the tank uh and check for water and so on in the tank uh and then up there we're gonna have to start working on getting the hoses uh, through and uh, kind of plumbed for inside the uh, wing. Um, right now, this is just uh, here just to keep that from rubbing. I gotta have to figure out a better way of mounting that. 
I was thinking about mounting it to this with a uh, um, L angle and then some zip ties maybe, because this is one of those filters we're gonna have to replace once in a while, so we wanna be able to get access to that fairly easily. Um, okay, so then the, let's go inside the plane now. Okay, so it comes in through that grommet right there. Fuel lines, I do have to tie this up still. Fuel line's gonna come down and it goes down in through there, through another plastic grommet. So then it comes down to the 90 degree right here through that grommet, uh, clamped in place with a 90, clamped again, comes along down the center. I put an, an Adele clamp here to uh, keep that uh, nice and secure and tidied. And then go, I drilled, drilled a hole through the, uh, this is the radiator shroud. And that way I can uh, put a grommet in there and put the fuel line through that area there. And it goes all the way through the front. Let's see where we are now. All right, and I'm gonna put a, uh, an Adele clamp here as well. Uh, and that will hold the tube for the fuel line out and away from everything. And as you can see, it just back down there, it just kind of floats. I'm not sure. I might end up, um, I might end up putting, when I take the radiator down, I'm going to put in, uh, some more clamps through that area to keep it up off the radiator. And then we're going to come up here and we got it clamped uh, with some zip ties here keep it up and out of the way comes up around over this way and into the fuel pump mechanical fuel pump up here so that's a lot of work we got done on the uh cricket and uh been watching uh yawns videos here while I'm doing the work, of course that's on the uh, 150, we got the 130, so it's a little different, but it's been cycling through all the videos. But anyway, so there you have it, guys. Um, now the only thing I need to uh, kind of determine on my side here on what I want to do is on the side over here, I did have to remove one of my decals here because the the line goes right through there. Uh, I have to then re-rivet this back in place with that new panel in, or the new um, angle in there. So, or the aluminum tube, square tube, that's now holding the, the header tank in there. So I need to figure out how I want to do that one. We've got to get that fixed. Uh, how are we going to paint that, basically, uh, and then move forward on it. So uh, get it done, get that re-riveted uh, in place. So other than that, guys, we are done for the weekend. Uh, hopefully next weekend I can finish uh, routing all that fuel line, uh, get the, uh, the low pressure fuel fittings, uh, fuel filters in, get those all routed in through and get the decide where I'm putting the fuel lines through the inside of the cabin uh, from the side of the plane over here because I got to decide that still. Uh, there's going to be holes here for the fuel lines to go through. I got to determine where that's going to be and uh, feed those fuel lines back in. And uh, I haven't fully decided whether I'm going to go on this side or through the middle. Uh, I, have I have thought about going through the middle because that gives me a place to put my dome light. Uh, but it also hides my GPS antenna that is right here. And it gives me a place to put it. And I can get a channel to go in there is what I'm thinking about building. A uh, nice little channel to go in there. Hold my dome light. Hold my, my fuel lines. Keep everything up and out of the way nice and tidy. And then we'll figure out what we're doing going from there. So uh, other than that, guys, that's all I have for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you want to uh, help support the channel. And uh, don't forget, also have uh, L750 Cricket t-shirts for sale. Check out the Teespring store down below. And uh, thanks, guys. I appreciate the support. And see you on the next one. Hopefully, we'll, uh, getting, we're getting close to getting this engine started. I know I said last week that we were going to get it going, but uh, not quite ready yet. 
but it, she's coming soon. So uh, stay tuned, guys, and uh, see you on the next video. Keep building, keep flying.